Welcome to Discovery Garden Pattaya. My name is Hans Fritschi. I am going to talk about spicy stuff today. You know, one of the most famous and most produced spices in the world is black pepper. It has been a spice of mankind forever, forever. And equally uh, well known is the white pepper. You see? This is typical white pepper. It comes after the black pepper in production worldwide since ancient times. The stuff to make things spicy. Less known, a little bit less known is the green pepper that we have. And then you might even know the red pepper. And here I have something very exotic. I'm sure you have never seen this. This is long pepper. You see, this is the fresh fruit from the climbing wine in the garden. And these are the dried long peppers that you can grind as well. And it, the taste is very much like black pepper. So this is fresh long pepper. This is dried long pepper. A lot to spice with. So here we approach one of our green pepper wines that we grow at Discovery Garden Pattaya and you might be surprised to hear that this is called Piper Nigrum, black pepper, but it's green pepper. Hmm. Uh, we are now in front of one of our pepper plants. You see, this is the wine with uh, all these green peppercorns and they are uh, almost uh, ripe now, these ones here. Very green, but where are those? Where do these grow? Hmm, a conundrum. Okay, I tell you a secret. These three pepper varieties grow on one plant only. You only need one plant and you get white pepper, black pepper and green pepper. But actually you also get the red pepper from this one. All four come from the same wine that is growing up here. You see, this is for instance black pepper. It is naturally, it did naturally dry, but if you mass produce this one, the black pepper, you have to take the green pepper and boil it in hot water. Yes, that's the secret. You boil the green pepper in hot water for a short time, then you carefully dry it in the sun and that gives you the black pepper. Now, how do we get the white pepper? Easy. So, if you want to get the white pepper in earnest, you wait till the green pepper is, has turned into red pepper. That is the mature peppercorn. And then you peel off the red skin around the white pepper, dry it, and 
you have the white pepper. So all these peppers, three peppers, grow from the same wine. But what was that? I showed you before the long pepper. Does it grow here too? Hmm. No. That is a different plant and I will show you that now. Here you see the long pepper, the mature long pepper, which is red. It grows like uh, cones on a pine tree and they look a bit like strawberry too. Here you see we have uh, grown these uh, long peppers along this uh, concrete uh, pole we put there and they are climbers. They grow easily up and you don't have to help them in any way. Okay, I talked to you about these things here. The, uh, I guess you have never seen this. This is long pepper and that is the plant where it grows. You see all over very rich and you, we don't have to do anything. We do not fertilize this. It has just grown all the way up here. And actually, if you follow me over here, we planted initially, we planted the long pepper together with the green pepper, which is actually called Piper nigrum, black pepper. You see, here is the small reminder of the plants we planted long pepper and so-called black pepper, which is really green, together here and the pepper longum, longum, long pepper has taken over everywhere. And as I said, you can grind this dried pepper longum, the long pepper, and then its taste is very much like the black pepper, but it is more spicy. Even more spicy than black pepper, the most used spice in the world. Long pepper, I don't know why it's not well known. And uh, I'm going, you can use the pepper longum, the long pepper also as a fresh spice. You don't have to necessarily dry it, but okay, you can make it uh, long lasting, but you can also. Mm. <coughs> this is very spicy, almost like chili, I would say. Wow, this is really sharp. You can put a cone like this into a sauce and it will spice your stuff. Now here we approach a plant that I uh, first saw in Brazil. It's called pink pepper or Brazilian pepper and you see these berries, they can be dried and they taste like pepper. Just in order to confuse you further, I'm going to show you now the pink pepper. You see, this is the so-called pink pepper or Brazilian pepper. I first found it in Rio in the beach. I could buy it there. Some seeds took them here, but they had arrived long time before I discovered them. You know, the Thai people, they know a lot about spices and they use especially the leaves in spicy stuff. And less the, the pink pepper. By the way, it's a completely different plant. It's not from the pepper family, but it tastes like pepper. And it's called Chinus Terre Bintifolia. 
Chinus terebinti folia, the pink pepper or Brazilian pepper, also grown in Thailand nowadays. So, I hope you learned something about spicy things today, about pepper in particular. You got to know the black pepper, the white pepper, the green pepper. They come all from the same plant and also the red pepper, which is the mature green pepper that is then peeled to become white pepper or the green pepper is boiled in hot water and will be black pepper. So all peppers these I mentioned are from the same plant. And then you got to know the long pepper, which is a different plant and very spicy. I still can feel what I when I tried it. And you got the pink pepper, the Brazilian pepper. So if you like this spicy episode, please subscribe to the Hans Ritchie channel on YouTube or Hans Ritchie friends on Facebook and see you again very, very soon to another spicy episode.